happens to be Chet O'Brien's 25th anniversary and Ralph Mensch's 30th anniversary. So I like to hear a little, right? And uh, it happens to be Arnie Giordano's birthday today. I won't tell you how old he is, but thank God he's here. And Tony's 39th anniversary. Well, yeah, well, there was five years in between. You couldn't get it together, you know? Okay. Well, first a little bit, right? I like to introduce somebody we all love, right? And uh, you should hear him right now. You know, give us a little time. Hey, all productions get a lot of time. We get nothing. This is all freebies, babe. <laughs> Cameras, action. Talk. I know, I know, I know. And there's no slates, I know. It's still take one. That's why I didn't have a slate. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I can see that. Big Bird. Can you get ahead of me and leave? Except one thing. Can a carpenter to help him get out? Leave me. No. Well, hello there. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> I'm blind as a bat. <clears throat> now, you probably... You're, you're probably wondering why I've called you all here today. Yes. You're fired. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I've had, I think this has been a really good season. Don't you think so? Yeah. Thickly good. I thank you to producers and the wonderful crew and the cast and, and everything. Gee, it was really, really wonderful. Everything's been really great except for Frankie. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, seriously, I'm here for a very important thing. Uh, as you know, uh, I'm, I'm a poet and I, I have lots of poems. And so I have one now that I think you might enjoy. What's it? Pay no attention to that noise you just heard. So good up there. <clears throat> oh, uh, pardon my back. <laughs> uh, pardon my front, but that's the way I built. <laughs> Victor Borger, 1956. <clears throat> my poem. It's called Courage by Big Bird. <clears throat> This is very serious. <clears throat> there came a giant to my door, a giant, big and strong. His arms were 30 inches thick. His legs were 12 yards long. He scowled, he frowned, he shook the ground. I trembled through and through. And then I looked him in the face and said, who cares for you? And he hit me. <laughs> Thank you. And now, the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, you know, just remember how much you paid for these tickets. Let's hear for Big Bird. Come on. All right. That's it. Oh, jeez. Look at the monitors. Can you turn that monitor around? Jerry, turn the monitor around. Guess who's on camera? He's been dying to do this for 18 years. He finally got me. <laughs> right? Cameraman, focus. You know what happens? So let me tell you a little story. Let me tell you a little story. We gotta make this quick. You know, an actor, a Muppet, can really 
They can goof up, they can go take one, take two, take three, but God forbid a technician messes up like this. Then you hear some words you people never heard on a headset. We hear it on a headset. Okay, for our next act, Chuck, you know, it's a union job. Give me a break. <laughs> okay, for our next act, uh, we have a guy here. It's an electrician that should be an actor. He wrote this next bit, and his name Joe Bear, and his helper, what we all love too, is Richard Hunt. Let's hear him out. Interesting, now, seeing John's camera work, now we know why he buys the takes he buys, right? <laughs> Okay. Look good to me. Hey, look. We, we cut off his head, John. Yeah, look good to me. <laughs> That's right. That's. There's never been a boom in the picture. This is a very serious. This is a very serious piece. Good evening. We've noticed the growing number of visitors here to Sesame Street, and so we have prepared this short presentation so that even though we are not taping, people will still be able to visit Sesame Street and get a real feeling for what a regular day is like. For this purpose, we have an employed an actor. <laughs> With knowledge of these hallowed halls. Everything has its various modes. There are busy days, there are slow days, and there are average days. Now, depending on what sort of day you attended, you would see many different sorts of things. But undoubtedly, the first thing you would encounter would be our stage hands. <laughs> Hi, Irving. On any day, you would see our stagehands hard at work, our electricians precisely fine-tuning the lights, <laughs> our property man setting the stage, <laughs> and our carpenters Our skilled technicians <laughs> uh, reading the intricate uh, and expensive equipment. As all the final preparations are ready, you might find our lighting designer bringing up the lights in whatever, er, whatever area we are going to be starting in. <laughs> yes, lighting cues, as you can see. Our Muppeteers sensitively prepare their alter egos for our first bit. <laughs> and then study their scripts and prepare mentally. <laughs> Where's the New York Times, goddammit? Uh, it was close. Could have had the International Herald Tribune. Eh? Enter the cameramen. <laughs> These talented technicians are always favorites with our visitors and are always able to make our guests feel comfortable and at home without ever leaving their cameras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so real. 
With most preparations now finalizing, a person of extreme importance en enters. This person's job is to fuse all of our various video artists' efforts into a unified artistic expression, a wizened master walking the fine line between success and failure, a person effusing leadership and knowledge, a person all production people look up to for guidance and inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, our director. Electric! Would you clear those monitors? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the other guys. I add it, right? <laughs> okay, listen. This is, oh, this is what we'll do. We'll come up on one in a tight shot. and No, wait a minute. We'll come up on two in a wide shot. <laughs> That's what we'll do. And, wait, does anybody have a script? <laughs> With most preparation. <laughs> Wait, why is Snooks applauding that? I want to know why Snooks just applauded that. With most preparations now final... At this point, you might notice I found my place in the script. At this point, you might notice a group of people hanging on the perimeter of our scene. These are all dedicated professionals. Our producers, writers, composers, managers, ensuring the educational and entertainment values that are hallmarks of all our work. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Now you are in luck because we were able to schedule a brief interview with one of our Sesame Street production professionals. So, if you care to, if you're ready, if if you don't mind, will you come in please? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our child wranglers. <laughs> well, I'm glad you could get out of the back room. Throws my foot. Yeah, <laughs> don't shoot it on your foot, don't. So, you must really love children. <laughs> yeah, stuffed and baked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, well then why, why do you do it? I want to be a producer someday. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> I thought that was a great line. <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, well, well, you you don't you don't use that rubber hose on the children. Of course not. That's for the cameraman. Right. Yes. Yes. Whoa. And and what about the fire extinguisher? Oh, no, that just scares the little buggers. Besides, it's great for chilling beer. Yeah, well, uh, well, thank you, and good, good night. Uh, you trust your children to this? That's not it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have a small idea of who we thought you might enjoy... Wait a second. Small idea of who? Of who's who? Oh, yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have a small idea of the who's who we thought you might enjoy... Comma, a brief moment of Sesame Street in action. But before we can start, we must have the ceremonial final blessing before taping. As is customary, I ask for a moment of silence for our scenic designer. <laughs> 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 now you know why I was laughing before. But I was really... And so, and so, oh my God. And so, this man knows too much. I'm afraid. And so, sound men direct their microphones. Cameramen focus their cameras. Electricians hone their light. Hone their lighting? <laughs> Props. Prop their props, whatever. And carpenters. <laughs> Hi, Irving. <laughs> uh, stand by. Our talented performers and skilled crew tense their bodies in anticipation as they listen for the cue announcing their creative moment. Five, four, 
When, the creative moment when that electric spark ignites into a frenzied instant where artistic expression and momentous educational enlightenment collide to produce you gotta put down, put down. <laughs> Joe Bear, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Bear. Bravo. Bravo. Okay, come on, that was the greatest thing I heard. Let's hear it for Joe Bear. He wrote it. Was cute. I didn't like what he said about the cameraman, though. Everything else was true. Lisa, Victor, you know, you know. I don't want to throw any names, but I've been here 18 years. Okay, for our next guest, right? She's a Muppeteer, and uh, she's here now and then. And we all like her. We fool around with her, you know, kid around and everything, and she makes us life, uh, life a little easier. Michael Houston.
So the second string goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, just hang on a second. You just do not talk to the guy, wait. Hold on, wait. So he goes up to the bartender, he goes, hey, Mr. Bartender, how are you today? Beautiful day, sun is shining. How are you? How's the wife? How's the kids? But then he goes, hey, listen, buddy, I saw your stupid friend before. I want you and your friends out here, or I'm calling the cops, wait. So he goes back over and goes, you're right, we got to get out of here. This guy's getting really mad, right? So the third string goes, wait a minute, I got an idea, right? So he goes up to, he goes by in a, in a strings room, right? And he like looks in the mirror, right? And he, he kind of frizzes up the top of his string, right? Pulls it out a little bit, right? And then he like turns himself in a little pretzel shape, right? Walks out, walks up to the bartender, right? He goes, hello, I would like to buy my friends and I a drink. Um, and the bartender goes, oh, well, what would you like? And he tells him, right? Makes the drinks, puts them on the bar, right? And he goes, um, I'm sorry to ask you this, but you're not by any chance a string, are you? And the string gets really offended, right? And goes, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Hey, Teddy! Teddy, what's that on your shirt? Whoa! <laughs> he hates that when I do that. All right, um, I had to go, but uh, before I do, I want to do something in dedication to my favorite Mick. I better not use that. But I will lower it. Okay, this is great. Don't you know the crime rate's going up, 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 up? Live in this town, you must be tough, 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 tough. Bats on the west side, get up uptown. Look at 6,000 tatters. I've been shattered. My brains and batters. Spill all over Manhattan. Should you be shattered, shattered. Should you be shattered, shattered. This town full of money gravels. Go ahead, buy the big apple. Don't mind the maggots. Should you be shattered, shattered. Should you be shattered, shattered. You do be. My brains and batters. My fans are coming around. Flat up, flat up, flat up, flat up, flat up, flat up, flat up. Body up, body up, body up. I can't do it. Thank you and good night. Come on, let's hear it for Michael Houston. Come on. Thanks, Chuck. We put the tape. I can't get the mic out. Timmy, kill it a second. <laughs> All right. Okay, for our next... Go back to reading your paper. Okay, for our next little skit, somebody's been on here for 18 years and he, yeah, he still looks the same. You know, we keep getting wider and wider. <laughs> no close-ups. Well, a lot of people can't take close-ups lately. But no, somebody's made the kids very happy. Bob McGrath. <laughs> Would you like to meet some of the nice people around the neighborhood? Would you? Oh, 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 you can sing along too. Who are the people in your neighborhood? Nice. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Say, who are the people in your neighborhood? A person that you meet each day. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey you fella. Listen, I got something to show you. Hey, wait a minute. What? Aren't you a... Aren't you the con man that sold me that diamond ring that, that turned out to be just glass? No, that, that was another guy. Oh, yeah. I thought it was you. Uh, step over a little closer. <clears throat> I got something here that can't be missed. A bargain that you can't resist. 
I'm offering you such a deal. It is guaranteed to be a steal. <laughs> hey, how'd you like to buy a solid gold watch for only a dollar? I said a dollar. Solid? Yeah, a solid. You'd sell me a solid gold watch for a dollar? Well, yeah, it, it kills me to do it, but I need the money for my grandmother's coke habit. See, I, I, listen, how about it, fellas? You want the watch or what? Huh? You see, coke Jeez. habit. A solid gold watch for a dollar? Yeah. Golly, I'd be crazy to pass this up. That's true. Sure. Here you go. Here's, here's my dollar. Oh, good. I'll buy it. Okay. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's something wrong. What is this, a paper watch? You said it'd be a solid gold watch. Yeah, solid gold paper. Yeah, oh. see, you, 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 what do you expect oh. for a dollar, huh? Oh, well, they give me a break. Oh, the, oh, the con man is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Yes, the con man is a person in your neighborhood. A person that you meet each day. See ya. Nice guy. Upon your local feet. 